sex rapper by the name of Kid Boo who spoke about how he got cloned. Well, what, what happened with, with my first gen is they took the skull. What he means by skull, by the way, is your pineal gland, hence why he'll be pointing there in the next few moments. He initially had written in a will uh, to the railing movement that if something were to happen to him, they can ship the skull over immediately to clone aid so they can remove a fragment of bone that's located here. And in this fragment of bone, it stores all of your memories and consciousness. And with that, they can make a sufficient replica of yourself, a reproductive version of you, including your memories. And you can be selective as to which ones you keep or don't keep. And this process has been around for quite some time. Don't want to say too much information. This is going to be broadcast okay. on the internet. People might- Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are, whatever you guys are. Welcome, Duality 9Xers. Hey, I uh, apologize. I've been having some technical difficulties. I've been trying to post some new videos for you guys, and I don't know what the hey is going on. But anyhow, I think think I kind of got things going again. So let's see. Let's see how things go, and let's see how things play out. I've got a great video uh, for you guys today. It's a bunch of randomness, crazy, some exciting stuff, paranormal, freaky, creepy, you know, the usual stuff that we post on this channel. So, all I need you guys to do is, if you guys are new to the space, smash the like and subscribe, comment, because YouTube algorithm would love you for it. And it also helps us out immensely. And uh, if you guys are existing uh, subscribers and returning, then I hope you guys are, uh, I hope you guys know the drill. So, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab a beverage, and uh, if you got a seatbelt, put it on because the ride is about to get bumpy. So it's pretty cheesy. I think I need to come up with something a little bit better. So anyhow, uh, without further ado, guys, let's get this party started now. What video are we going to show first? Is your favorite celebrity actually a clone? Although I can't give you 100% proof, I can show you the people in the space that have spoken about this like Orlando Brown, Kanye West, Kid Boo, and even this news channel and Tom McDonald. There's way more, but these are the ones which we'll be covered today. So getting straight to the point, there was Wait this only news channel when they made a video a around 14 years ago about a lab that clones Disney stars. One of the people they spoke about who is well known is called Zac Efron. What's really interesting sure. is you'll see the doctor saying that he made a mistake and says his skin will soon to begin to Old. Now this one's Zac Efron. I've seen him before. Yes, uh, Zac was actually one of our earliest My models. daughters love him. I mean, he looks so real. Actually, I think we could have done a better job with Zac. He could show more human tendencies. Uh, if you look closely, you'll notice there's a certain deadness around the eyes. I do see that, yeah. yes. Uh, I'm sorry, it's hard for me to watch because all I see is uh, all my mistakes. Oh, yeah. oh, he seems flawless to me. Well, he's holding up, but there was a bug in that first batch, and as a result, Zach's skin will soon begin to dissolve. This means he'll need to get surgery later on. This is where it gets weird and too coincidental. As some of you may know, he actually got plastic surgery on his face a few years ago now, and it took over the media by storm as it was a quite a controversial plastic surgery procedure outcome. The fact that he did get the surgery just makes this thing feel weird and very coincidental, right? Now I need to show you this next rapper by the name of Kid Boo who spoke about how he got cloned. Okay. Well, what, what happened with, with my first gen is they took the skull. What he means by skull, by the way, is your pineal gland, hence why he'll be pointing there in the next few moments. He initially had written in a will uh, to the railing movement that if something were to happen to him, they can ship the skull over immediately to clone aid so they can remove a fragment of bone that's located here. And in this fragment of bone, it stores all of your memories and consciousness. And with that, they can make a sufficient replica of yourself, a reproductive version of you, including your memories. And you can be selective as to which ones you keep or don't keep. And this process has been around for quite some time. Don't want to say too much information. This is going to be broadcast okay. on the internet. People might think he's joking, but what do you think? He also did another part of this interview where he speaks about Gucci Mane being cloned. This isn't something that only a few people noticed or talked about. Many people are saying Gucci Mane got cloned as he looked different after being released from jail. I think uh, I think it's amazing that they even were able to make Gucci, Gucci Mane. Right, because they cloned him. Why did the guy say it's so certain? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if Clone Aid did. I'm pretty sure like that was done from a separate company. But, like, everyone was saying he was cloned as soon as he got out of jail. He looked yeah. different, he talked different. Yeah. Even his teeth, you know, smiling. <laughs> right, he smiled a lot more? Yeah, he did, definitely. I like so Gucci. I like new Gucci. I like second gen Gucci. Second gen, okay, so Gucci was the first second hip hop clone. Gucci. Second. Wow. Maybe, maybe if there's others, I don't know. 
Now moving on, I need to show you the time when Randall Brown said that there were two Chris Browns, where one of them is on stage and the other is at the back getting pictures to make money doing meet and greets. He made headlines again when some pictures came out that fans took with him and it was revealed that they paid a thousand dollars for a meet and greet with Chris Brown. Some people were surprised at this and there was some debate as to, you know, whether people felt it was worth it or, you know, is, is that a little Chris too Brown. much? He's the real Chris Brown and he's not allowed to get on stage. So that's the only way he can make his money. So you feel like that was like a lookalike that did that? Do I feel like it was a lookalike in Chris Brown's body? Okay. No, it's... Chris Brown is not that, it's just the same thing. It's the same thing with Kanye, bro. Not Chris Brown on stage. What? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. it's, it's not Chris Brown on stage, bro. It's not Chris. So that wasn't Chris that did that? Hell no, that wasn't Chris. Dude. No, that wasn't Chris that was on stage. Chris Brown is the one that's, the, the, he getting paid way, any way he can to see if it's going if it's gonna go over. And it's going over well. Don't nobody know the difference. <laughs> well, that was interesting. He's basically saying the one Chris Brown wow. is doing all the performing, probably the media, and the other is just in the back, the real one who needs to make money by doing meet and greets, promos, etc. Orlando Brown also said something very similar about Kanye West. He spoke about this in a similar interview that Kanye West is fighting to be the real Kanye, and he also says he loves the real Kanye. Let me know your thoughts on this one. I'm going to tell you what it is. I love the real Kanye. Man, haven't we had this conversation? I love the real Kanye, but that be trying to get at me it's like yo bro like there's no competition you're kanye bro even if even in your other body you're still kanye bro i'm little orlando bro if you guys actually realize like like how there's a taller kanye and a smaller kanye taller kanye and a smaller, they're fighting for who's gonna be kanye they're fighting for who's gonna be kanye dude right in front of you that's stupid bro you see kanye six feet tall and then you see him small you better catch catch the small give him a hug man because he's been through a lot being that body he was just trying to eat that day <laughs> And that's what Kanye, the real Kanye be in a real place, chilling, eating, no security, that's Kanye. So there's two Kanyes? Now you might say Orlando Bound is crazy. So what I find interesting is that there was this time when Kanye West was singing, and while he was singing, he said, watch how they clone me. The pony will clone me, just watch how they cloned me. So he basically put out there that he got cloned. Maybe he could just be saying this as a warning that he could wow. be in the future if he keeps speaking out. As you know, he spoke out a ton a few months ago. I don't know. It seems like he's putting it out there for everyone to know. But what I find interesting is that no one really pays attention to when he says it. Now, when looking into it deeper, ever since Kanye West has made a comeback after a few months of being off social media, is that many people have been saying that he got cloned. This is Kanye a few months ago. And this is the current Kanye we are seeing. Do you think there is a difference? Kanye did also say something about disappearing, yeah. etc. If I ever went anywhere, we'd know why. And he did wear a mask and hide himself for a while during his controversy. Now, you may have seen this rapper or heard of him. His name is Tom McDonald, and he released a song three years ago called Cloned Rappers. He basically spoke about how people in the music industry got cloned. I can't play the song here, but he mentions in the first lines of the song how they take bone samples to clone rappers, which is similar to what Kid Buu said, by the way. So they can remove a fragment of bone that's located here. And then once cloned, they'd look different, which is interesting and adds wow. up as this is why earlier in the video, I covered how Orlando Brown keeps mentioning how there are two different versions of the character. Now, I want to tell you something that is fully real and can be done. Well, you can check this for yourself right now after this video. If you have a pet cat or dog or most other animals, you can literally clone them. It will cost you around $50,000, but it's literally possible. So if you can clone animals, they can most likely be able to clone Currently, there are no reports of human cloning happening and it hasn't been verified by scientists. For most places, it is illegal and cloning humans is seen as unethical. Kid Boot also mentioned this when speaking about a friend that supposedly cloned a girl named Eve. I have a friend of mine named Sophia Bridget who's currently um, being faced for trial for the, uh, criminalizing the act of uh, like God uh, Godonizing, I think it is, which is like breaking the law of cloning someone. Wait a minute. Wait. So, please so, dive so, into so that. So you please. know somebody that privately cloned another person? Allegedly, I can't say that she. Did well, or allegedly, not. allegedly, I can't say she did or did not because the case is still open. She's 63 years old. I've been I've been knowing her for about eight years now. She's a part of a movement called the Railing Movement, and they're the founders of CloneAid. And by the way, you can look up CloneAid for yourself online after this video, and you will see it's a real human cloning organization registered in the Bahamas. Which is what she works for. Allegedly, they say that she cloned a girl named uh, Eve about 11 years ago. And that's what they're trying to trial her for. So, is it like a machine or like how does? 
I mean, I know you, it's not you, but I'm just saying um, you more knew more. You know more about it than I do. Well, it's um, recreating the synthesis of DNA, so it ex ex exact same genetic structure as, as anything else would be. The people, it's hard for people to wrap their mind around it because of consciousness and a soul, right? Right. right. So some people who don't want to see past that then are like, well, what is it? Or there you have it. People have different thoughts on whether human cloning is real or just a publicity stunt. The whole idea of celebrity cloning and what cloning claims to be able to do is definitely not certain. But I'll Real or fake? That's a decision you need to make, huh? You know what? What what kind of interests me, Anna? I you know actually it's funny. I came across another video that was talking about cryogen, like freezing people cryogenically, and um, how some people are just willing to just freeze themselves in efforts that one day science and technology will be at the level where they can we can bring people like that back. Now, how that's going to happen, can it happen? I mean, there's more questions than there's answers, unfortunately. And the odds of bringing anyone back right now, cryogenically speaking, are, are very slim to none. But then again, the way technology is evolving, from what we know, what we hear about, maybe the technology is not there. But what we don't know that's probably around is maybe it is. Really interesting. And then they're talking about cloning people. But when you clone like, you know how they've cloned? They've cloned Dolly. You remember Dolly, the famous sheep that they cloned? And they cloned a few other animals. And actually, I'm sure they've been cloning a lot of animals. When they clone a species, it, it, it still has to go through the whole fertilization. And it, it has to, you know, develop and grow. And so if they're cloning people, that means in order for somebody to be at, at the age of 30, 35, they needed to do this 30, 35 years ago, or at least have the infrastructure available to be able to be in a position where they could do that. Is that even possible? Like, do they even have the technology to be able to, like back then to be able to facilitate this type of work? I don't think so. So are they cloning people? Maybe. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe there's like, Places that are not very friendly with the United States and those kind of countries, we know who they are. Maybe they're cloning people, cloning babies. God knows. But to clone a Kanye West or Chris Brown or Carrot Top, you'd have to clone them so that they're exactly around the same age level or close to it. And that process should have started a long time ago. So I highly doubt that. What probably happened is they probably have lookalikes. I believe that. Maybe there's lookalikes of those people walking around and. Mr. Sagato was a construction worker from Sao Paulo, Brazil, who wanted to look like his hero Arnold Schwarzenegger. But let's pause there for a moment. Having a role model who's a bodybuilder is not a bad thing, even though Arnold has done some questionable things in the past not related to movie choices. In fact, you can easily be inspired by how ripped and toned someone is and then work hard to get to their level. They are the goal that you want to achieve and that's a fair one to have. But for him, he had gone the wrong way to achieve that look. Sagato was already a formidable weightlifter before he began the dangerous synthol injections in 2013, but his biceps exploded to watermelon-sized 23 inches after he began pumping himself with the lethal chemical cocktail in his chest, biceps, and shoulders. If that sounds like a bad thing, well, it certainly is. He was injecting something non-natural into his body to shore up his arms, and they definitely did not look and in natural as a as result. Well. Synthol usually consists of a mixture of oil, benzyl alcohol, and lidocaine that overzealous gym enthusiasts and wannabe models use to jack up their assets. But doctors are sounding the alarm on the unsanctioned substance. According to experts, using synthol can actually cause nerve damage, infections, ulcers, strokes, and lead to amputation and death. So yeah, instead of doing things the natural way like Arnold did, he put himself in danger by injecting himself with that substance. And this isn't the only time you're going to hear about injections like this on this video. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19, Popeye. 
Now here's another person whose inspiration should have been more of a guiding light instead oh. of a how can I quickly get to look like him kind of thing. Because to any of you who don't know Popeye, well, you should look him up. He's one of the most endearing characters in all of media and cartoons, and the way that he got his rigorous strength was through hard work, dedication, and spinach. Yes, I know that you don't want to eat spinach, because most don't, but Popeye did, and he could give the sun a black eye as a result. The mix martial arts fighter from Russia who had the name Popeye because of his huge biceps would be someone the sailor man would be ashamed to be referenced next to. He was another one who got injections in his arms and it literally cost him both of them. He was told by doctors that if he didn't get the implants removed from his arms, he could oh. either die or Looks he'd like have he got both lips of his arms too. cut off. He took the surgical approach and had six liters of Vaseline surgically removed from his arms. Just think about that for a moment. Why would anyone want to inject their bodies with that much crap just to have huge arms. Now none of us here have the largest arms and working out hasn't always helped me in my muscular goals, but that doesn't mean that I would go and do something like that. After surgery, the medic would tell him that the problem was that the petroleum jelly that he injected so thoroughly had spread into the muscles and killed them. So not only did it make his arms look fake, but the results of his implants were that he killed his muscles. It took four surgeries to get all of that stuff out of his arms in the end. Number 18, Romario Dos Santos Looks Alves. Comical. Meet Romario Dos Santos Alves. As you look at his arm muscles, you probably already know where it's going. I mean, after all, I'm only three entries into this video. Because as you can guess, Romario oh. put some oil into his arms, but he also injected alcohol in for good measure. He used the potentially lethal cocktail to pump up his biceps to 25 inches and now faces a myriad of serious health issues. You'd really like to think that people would learn not to put things into their bodies that aren't natural, but a former bodyguard said using the synthetic filler synthol cost him his sanity and nearly his life as he tried to kill himself when his wife was six months pregnant. He said his swollen muscles terrified children in his hometown and they call him a beast and a monster. But equally as important, he noted that using something like synthol isn't just about getting bigger muscles, but it was an addictive substance. So if you use it even once, you're likely to use it again. That's absolutely terrifying. Shall I list all of the ways that the substance substance sucks? Well, it gives you fake looking muscles, it destroys your body, you're then stuck living with the aftermath, it could kill you if you put too much of it inside of you, and you can also lose your mind and be addicted to it and even more. So yeah, synthol sucks, and while Romario was happy to take it once, he's now trying to warn people about it and wants others to see the dangers because he could have died, all because he wanted bigger muscles and it's just not worth it. Number Guys, uh, yeah, we're not going to go through all of these. We'll, we'll have to play them on another episode, but that that's just horrific, man. The, the, the fact that some people can actually do that to themselves. Um, I, I, I'm at a loss of words. You know, it, what, what's really tragic is some of these guys that we actually, and we didn't see too many, but I think they're, they're no longer here. I think they've passed away uh, because of the things that they've been putting in their body. Um, I'll have to get an update on that, but if you guys are, are keen and wanting to know if you guys are interested in this I'll I'll definitely put some up you see you see this guy's trap so, You know like right here like it's like the big bulge that he's got like right up here. Well In India there is a group of people uh, that that have that same kind of bulge like on the back of their neck and yeah, it's uh, they're supposed to be like holy people and blessed people and stuff like that, but there's there's rumors that they put synthol uh, injected themselves with synthol to get that bulge on the back of their neck. So, uh, anyhow, okay, here we go.
<laughs> Back in his car. Oh, the ring doorbell. Love these ones. Hey, can I help you? What are you doing? <laughs> and I let you. Hi. I think he really has what to go to the bathroom, you? You guys. Joe. What are you doing? Are you, doing? <laughs> are you trying to get in? You want me to call the police on you? What are you doing? <laughs> Joe, I'm calling the police. Didn't see this footage until I finished my pizza. No way he's Domino's. That's a weird looking hat. <laughs> yeah, that's not Domino's. Look, two different two different pizza boxes. There's a Domino's box on the bottom. You would think for the video you'd put that on top, but Watching. That's hilarious, but at the same time, that's like my worst fear. In the back of my mind, I always think like if I order pizza, what is the pizza man doing with my pizza? You know, and I think most people feel the same way. Let me know what you think in the comments though. Yeah. Hello? I, I do actually. Yes. I'm not at your house, I'm at my house. I don't know how your camera is connected to my doorbell. I was just trying to set it up. I'm gonna need you to get off my property now! I'm not on your property, ma'am. Why are you in front of my house? I'm not in front of your house. Can Yay! you see what I'm pointing at? Yeah, I always wonder about uh, pizza as well too, right? I, or any food for that matter, like, you know. And if you think about it, you know, like Skip the Dishes, Uber Eats, all these kind of different m methods of ways to, to bring food to our place. How does that work? Like, what if, the, what if the person's car is like extremely dirty and gross and all that and our food is sitting right on top? Anyways, see? And that ring doorbell camera videos, oh man, those are classic. But that one guy, if, if, if you haven't, if you can't remember, go back, watch it again. The first video, he did something very, you know, he did something that'll make you laugh. I think he really had to go to the bathroom, but anyhow.
Airbnb. I don't know if you guys seen this. It's going viral right now. Oh, the fake the one? Toilet? Yeah, oh, the one with the toilet. Oh, Yo, they were scrolling through the channels on their TV at the Airbnb. And then one of the channels was a toilet cam. So they saw this. So they saw the toilet and they're oh. scared it's theirs. Check this out. The lady goes to go check it out and see if it's actually theirs. And look what happens. No. It's her. It's her. She pops up on the camera. No. So the Airbnb set up a camera to look at the toilet fam. And the crazy part is this is dead ass real. Like this isn't even fake. Look. They looked at the vents and everything. It's all there. So what they did, they ended up canceling that Airbnb and then going to a new one because that was legit mm. them spying on them. You can never trust nowadays, bro. Wow. This is a TikTok of people that... I, I, hope, I hope those people got some compensation. I hope they went to the authorities because how many other people went through this, got that Airbnb and, and were spied on without their consent? of the uncanny valley effect is in aesthetics. The uncanny valley is a hypothesized relation between an object's degree of resemblance to a human being and the emotional response to the object. In simpler terms, if something looks extremely AI? similar to a human, our senses can still determine that it's not, and our nervous system almost instinctually reacts with a fear response. This would have to be an evolved function for some reason, as the fear response is a survival mechanism. Could this mean that at some point, humans were not at the top of the food chain and had a predator that was capable of mimicry or shape-shifting? Indie game developer David Szymanski tweets, One of the most frightening things I've ever heard is when someone pointed out that the existence of the uncanny valley implies that at some point there was an evolutionary reason to be afraid of something that looked human but wasn't. The modern definition of the uncanny valley effect seems to refer heavily to AI and robotic imposters, but that is only a modern application of our fear response. The Outsider by Stephen King does a frightful job of imagining how a predator like this could function. With the grief eater, feeding on the grief surrounding a family after losing a loved one, using some sort of shape-shifting or mimicry ability to take someone's form before committing a heinous crime, causing confusion, suspicion, paranoia, and desperation, with the goal seeming to be a total family annihilation. The grief eater showcases a similar intelligence level and consciousness to its human counterpart, but has lived so long it doesn't even know when it was born, what it is, or how many of it there are, only that there are more and he himself is a rather ravenous wild one and that the need to feed drives his existence, insinuating that more controlled, assimilated, and even organized grief eaters could be living among the populace of the civilized world. So why do we fear the uncanny valley effect? Yeah, that's creepy. The def Very creepy. Why, like, Asian people, do we all use chopsticks? There's actually a whole reasoning for using chopsticks. Because chopsticks, when you use it as a child specifically, it teaches you discipline mm. because you have to learn it. And what happens to your fingers? Yeah. What happens to your fingers? Oh. It creates like a, like a callus. Okay. Using it over and over and over. Imagine every single day. You'll, you'll eventually, like, make a callus. Check this out. The reason they invented chopsticks was because way, way back in warfare, the common way to invade a village was bow and arrow. Yeah. The, the goal was the head of the village. They told all of the villagers like, use the chopstick, use the chopstick. This is actually training for y'all for bow and arrows. Mm. And supposedly they would be so good at, at doing this and created such a crazy callus that they would be able to pick out arrows in the, in the air. <laughs> okay, I, I was going to say that, but I don't want to sound stupid. So Jackie Chan <laughs> Mr. Han. <laughs> Yo, if y'all want part two, comment conspiracy syrup right now. You ever hear about the chop Gatorade? If you drink it when you're not thirsty, it's sour. Go run, and, come, and back, come back, drink it, it tastes sweet. If you drink it when you're thirsty, it's sweet. They, they put a, a specific ingredient uh -huh. that it makes you realize when you're hydrated or dehydrated. So when you're dehydrated, it activates the oh, sugars okay. in it and it, yeah, yeah. it tastes sweeter. So you know how when you drink Gatorade just regularly? Yeah. You don't really want to drink it. Low key. Yo. Right? You, you know, you get the thing like this. Oh. Like, oh, it's sour. Like, you don't want to drink it. But I heard Prime's like really bad for you too. It's just like artificial speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But imagine someone runs. Someone, if, if you do a 
prime uh for marathon and you come back prime probably tastes like the best shit ever mm. so you can't you can't like taste prime unless you rush because that's really what it's yeah, for yeah it is that's what it's it for. is technically a thing yeah. but everything's like artificial sweeter you know one thing I, I i miss is that um i don't know it, it was probably really bad for me but the milo in the oh, philippines is where that gatorade if you hmm yeah um just just look at the ingredients and you know what uh bobby Parrish, you know flav city uh he talks about natural flavors you got to stay away from things that say natural flavors you know don't get fooled into thinking natural flavors is good for you it's actually quite opposite it's not and and a lot of these drinks these energy drinks and color drinks they've got like uh, different kinds of artificial colors in them like uh FCL, yellow, blue, red, when a tartarazine. If you see any of those kind of things, ingredients, like, don't even touch it with a 10 foot pole. I would not even, I wouldn't let anyone drink that stuff. It's absolutely horrible, horrible to your health. Bowling, the dark origin of bowling, yeah. it was actually a ritual to see if you're a sinner, fam. What? Hey, the concept of bowling, oh. it comes from like ancient, I think, Egypt, mm -hmm. where they would place a bunch of like pins if you're a sinner uh -huh. and you roll the ball and it hits all of them down you've replenished your sins and you're forgiven uh -huh. but if you couldn't that means oh, you're wow. still a sinner if you still have one up now the theory is if you know somebody that's really good at bowling and they get a strike on the first try they have a clear pathway to heaven so if you're not nice at bowling you're going to hell no but that's that's the origin of, so of the want? practice of it <laughs> Like, I so guess they changed it into a, they made it into a game. Take yeah. But originally, bowling was just for that shit. Damn. It was just to see like, oh, is this guy a sinner? Prove it. You know what I mean? Are, are, are you are you really holy? Prove it. Because now you know that you're going to go, uh, when we play bowling, like, oh, oh yeah, other, I see that. Yeah, you're going, <laughs> look at his hat. Videos that oh. can't be explained. The last one is crazy. What would you do if you were exploring at night and saw this? Oh. Uh, yeah, I think I've seen some videos on this. Um, this is probably just a, a young woman who... Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. There, there's. Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anything paranormal about this. I think it's an unfortunate young woman who uh, people are making out to be something that she really isn't. What is this? Because it looks like it's my nails, right? Girl, I've got all my nails. I've... Half of a green nail in my bathroom on the floor. I have all of my nails. That's interesting. So, parallel universe, maybe. So, you, if you've seen one of my earlier videos, and uh, this lady, uh, she shows her glass. Uh, it, it cracked in the dishwasher when she was washing it. And the piece, the shard, the, the glass shard, didn't fit into the glass. It was like, it, it was like the opposite way that fit in, which couldn't have happened because how, how would that even work? Um, the, the, this is kind of along the same lines. It's 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 really interesting. <laughs> I know my. Oh. Seen that video? Dude, is it not? <laughs> yeah, I saw that one too. Oh. A day. landslide in Turkey stopped these trucks in their path. You almost want to close your Yikes. eyes so you can't see what you think is about to happen. But miraculously... Hey family, hope you guys are doing great and safe. I'm back with another video. So fasten your seatbelts. Let's get started. Please. Fasten your seatbelts. That's Please. my line. What? what? <laughs> I'm doing a reaction video to somebody What kind of black thing, thing this is me. caught in sky? It can be some shadow or a person, but it is very difficult to say anything because of the camera quality. What are your thoughts? Hello? 
Wow. It's like David Blaine or Chris Angel. Some weird witch. You don't think that's balloons? Oh, 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 wow. Not the kind of chandelier you want in your house. No way. Look at that, guys. We're, got, we're talking they about cobras. They have footage of an iceberg slipping over, revealing blue aura or chapter. Not sure about the exact location of the video, but what kind of strange creature is this? Don't forget to share your thoughts. Wow. Do not underestimate the power of static charge. In this video, you can see yeah. what happens. Wow. guy is coming down but he triggers video is coming something from on a his hospital foot. in Guadalajara, Mexico. Did you see that? a strange shadow caught on video. This can be some person walking outside the door. What do you think? Is this a shadow or some person in black? <laughs> uh, that was a person. We've now got two blonde Swedish twins causing absolute chaos. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mysterious unexplained events caught on camera. Apparently there was no sign of entry into the zoo, no animals or people were harmed. The city is now encouraging people to submit ideas for what they think it might be. For this list, we'll be looking at bizarre and frightening incidents that were captured on video or in a photograph that haven't been fully explained. What's the weirdest inexplicable event hey, hey, in I your life? That, Let us know below. From the 80s. Number 10, the Springfield Clowns. Clowns are already pretty terrifying at the best of times. Their painted faces hiding their humanity gives plenty of people the ick. So imagine a town infested with the creepy performers. This is a surveillance video from a home in Springfield showing a costumed character walking up a sidewalk uninvited to a home and apparently loitering right there at the steps leading up to the porch sounds like a place to avoid. Yet this is what happened in the neighborhood of Springfield in Jacksonville, Florida in 2014. The clowns wandered about the streets at night, looking to disturb as many people as possible. Creepy comics are now terrorizing yeah. some people and humoring others as they pose in front of monuments and prowl the streets. And now the mysterious behavior seems to be spreading. When they knew they were being recorded, they did things like tearing into pumpkins and standing about ominously. The videos of the clowning about sparked a trend across the US, culminating in a mass infestation of them in 2016. Since then, sightings keep increasing. Yes. On New York's Long Island, social media threats from anonymous clown accounts kept elementary children inside during recess. Yet no one knows why this originally happened. Number nine, yeah. pet shop fan. This is the story of the creepy android named Tara. If you search I feel fantastic on YouTube, you'll see a video that I guarantee won't make you feel fantastic. It features an android singing a song in a mysterious house, but some have speculated that this video is actually an admission of murder. Let me explain. People question where Tara got her clothes, insinuating that they might not belong to her. Towards the end of the video, there's a random shot of the woods. This is allegedly where the victims are located.
is really scary. Is that in the woods? Hello? I've seen some really creepy stuff. But wow. nothing like this. Dogs are barking at something. Where? Over that way. En esta ocasión estoy justamente aquí subiendo para mostrarles esto. Miren, es un. We're on an adventure. <laughs> Check on the fence line. All right, y'all. Y'all see this move right here? And then I'm gonna go this side. Look at this. Take a close look at the piece of wood. You see it move? You see the eyes? Yeah. One more time. Yep. Nope. <laughs> oh boy. What could this be? An alien? In a barn? What kind of creature do you think this is? Comment below. Bingo. Number four. Someone was taking a walk and captured this on their phone. Oh. Take a close yeah. look at the eyes. This lady's freaky. Is there malice behind that smile? One more time. Is she looking at you? Wow. Or through you? Originally, a former president on UFOs and UAPs. This was at the behest originally of former President Donald Trump, who gave the U.S. intelligence agencies six months to reveal what they know about UFOs and reveal it to Congress. This report will include discussions about incidents and sightings that cannot be explained with present level human technology. On June 1st, the Pentagon will produce its most complete report to date. An alleged encounter between a man and an extraterrestrial being took place at an undisclosed location within a secret base in the United States. The encounter reportedly, and well, went a little too fast. It is believed that this encounter took place in 2017, although no official confirmation from the government has been provided. The video begins with the man standing a short distance away, what appears to be an extraterrestrial being, commonly referred to as Gray. Both individuals face each other. They maintain eye contact for several moments. The extraterrestrial's physical features resemble typical depictions of greys, a hairless people, greyish skin tone, a large dark eyes and a slight frame. The man remains calm throughout the encounter, showing no signs of distress or fear. Their interaction appears to be non-verbal. And this is the leaked video. Despite this, their body language seems to be engaged and focused. Huh. Use it? Okay, so this bathroom is located in a bar in Japan. And inside this haunting bathroom is a huge head looking at you while you're sitting on the toilet going to the bathroom. The face is then activated by the pressure of the seat, which it would then start singing a drunken song in the creepiest voice you've ever heard as it moves slowly closer to you, making the room smaller and smaller until its lips kisses your knees. I don't know why this is so unsettling and disturbing, but it is. There's just something about sitting in the bathroom and staring directly into this giant face as it's singing and moving closer to you, trying to kiss your knees. So only one question remains. Will you go to the bathroom in this bathroom? My answer is 100% no, nope. because I probably won't even be able to go. And if I had to use the bathroom, I would just shut the lights off so I didn't have to look at it. Why is this a thing and who came up with this to put this in a bathroom?
was she taken in Wessex, something. Britain by a camera. The camera is located on a local highway. Now authorities capture all kinds of weird and crazy things on these cameras, from wildlife running by to car crashes and much more. But what was captured in this video remains a mystery. You can see as what looks like maybe a dog or something runs by. However, when we zoom in and take a closer look, it becomes clear that this is not a dog at all. This unidentified creature's legs are bending inward with every stride, and it almost looks humanoid shaped. And it moves unnaturally fast. No one has really been able to come up with a good explanation as to what this creature was. And what's weird is at first glance, nobody would really question the footage. It's when we zoom in and really take a close look at this being that we really realize what we're dealing with. Some believe it's a shapeshifter or something paranormal. Yeah. Maybe a skinwalker. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The Three, two, one. Hey guys, that's all the time that we have today. I want to thank you guys for, for watching this video with us. Uh, there's a lot of randomness going on there. There's some freaky, creepy stuff as well. Uh, but listen, I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. I can't wait to read your guys' comments on these videos. Real or fake, that's a decision you need to make. So guys, in the meantime and in between time, that's it. That's another one. I look forward to catching you guys on the next one. Peace.